The answer choices to this question make it a little hard to know what's being tested. I see that there's commas. Maybe I need to worry about sentence structure here, right? Because a comma with an and is one way to connect two complete sentences. Um, so maybe that's something to do with it, but I don't really know. So at this point, I just know that I need to think about sentence structure, but it's maybe more broad than some other questions where I've seen where I know it's about like, do I have two sentences? Here I'm just, okay, are there breaks? Where's there shifts in the sentence? Let's take a look. Um, okay, gathering accurate data on water flow in the United States is challenging, okay, because of the country's millions of miles of waterways and the fact that the volume and speed of water at any given location can vary drastically over time. Okay, I get now what's going on here. This is a list. It may not feel like it, but it is. So where are the pieces of the list? Well, there are, this, the thing, it starts with a complete sentence and now we don't have any commas or anything because the word because lets us kind of add stuff on without commas. So the because now is where the list really starts. Uh, there's two reasons that they provide. Um, the country's millions of miles of waterways, that's one reason. The second reason is the fact that the volume and speed of water in any given location can vary directly over time, uh, vary drastically over time. So there's two things in our list. And we need to remember that if we have a list of two things, no comma. Right? We, these are not two complete sentences, right? These are not two ideas that are being connected uh, using a conjunction. This and here is functioning just as a way to list things. And when we have the list, we have no commas. So uh, don't get tempted here. The commas don't even really make sense. Like try to think of it as a break. Why would we take a break after the word that? Why would we take a break around the word and like this? This makes no sense. We just, there's, it doesn't, there's no reason. You can read it and you, you notice that you don't pause or you don't stop to like reset your brain here. It's just a continuous flow of words. So choice D is the answer. We don't need any commas. And this is a tactic that the SAT has used for years. Basically, um, they like to give you situations where no comma is necessary, but because the sentence is long, and because the other choices include commas, you feel kind of pressured to put one. And I think that those are the rules that most of you guys follow when you use commas in your writing. You're like, ah, oh, I've kind of gone on for a while. Let me just throw a comma in there, right? There's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no rules. You're just kind of feeling it out. But those those commas do have reasons, right? They're, they're supposed to be a rule that you're following. So we need to think about those rules as we're doing this here. It's not enough to just think of a pause because different people pause in different places just to take a breath when a sentence is long. So we need to really just think about the structure of it, is there a reason that we need to split the sentence at this point? That's why we would need a comma. And for lists of two things, we don't use it. If it were three or more things, then that's a different story, but that is not what this question is testing. So it is a list, but lists of two do not get commas.